Hello and welcome back in the summer with T1 Games. This time we're facing Nongshim. We're going to have a banger matchup here. Nongshim, not the best start into summer, but still we're going to have Kanar versus Zeus, a top lane matchup of T1 top laners. And regardless, it will be high fee. Let's see what this new split has in store for us. Oh, owner here attacked, but that's just set up for a carrier. But ooh, goes a bit out of position. Ooh, Faker goes in, that's a bit high fee, but he gets the first blood and he gets away. No one flashes over the wall to follow him. A minor amount of summoner spells used on T1 side. And um, they maybe even collect another kill. Nope, just another splash. And oh, owner, bonum aloner. <laughs> takes him down, flashes over the wall. And meanwhile, in the top right, Zeus is just... Oh, Kanai, what are you going to do? You can't do anything to me. I'm just going to take this down. And yeah, the T1 early game is in uh, full snowballing mode. And this is an avalanche that, uh, yeah, Nongshim might not be able to hold. Ugumayoshi here might get attacked, but his reaction time is just way too good. Flashes immediately. And now, Nongshim, you're stuck here with us. Kanai is going to be the sacrificial spine or um uh, that's because of the uh, sejuani not because of the player comments one two three um but they have the hands to pull it off in most cases you immediate like look at this like <sighs> oh 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 caster at uh at uh what is it 35 ms uh, guma gets hit by that combo by the way we saw it uh, at msi at zero ms he doesn't get hit by that Oh, here two members stunned, locked up, carrier just presses R, that's another one down, BDD steps too close to the sun, and uh, yeah, the sun owner, he is going to take him down, but nah, 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 owner not overextending, very smart from him, because Kana was already there, so yeah, that's just two kills, and well, 23 minutes, jungler dead, support dead, that's, uh, that's better, and well, Zeus, he wasn't even there, he wasn't even there, now he's TPing into the play, uh, not really needed, but potentially thought that he might be attacked there by multiple members. Anyway, 26 minutes, T1 here pushing for soul point. They're going to lose their first turret, and that is yeah, connected to an objective bounty. But maybe Nongshim has overstayed their welcome, because uh, the T1 hyenas are on their way. Maybe Nongshim can collapse onto someone, but Kare here looking for some plays, dashing across the world. Not hitting anyone with the tornado. And he got away, and now, oh, kill children, stop watching, because that's going to be uh, nothing so far. Faker is going to, ooh, that flash, though. Ooh, yikes. Uh, and uh, yeah, Sajoni is again the boar, swine, red hair, whatever, left to the wolves. And uh, Nongshim, they looked for a play on two carrier, overstayed for the turret, and... Again, if you look at the map state, if you look at the goal, anything here now, they're obviously grasping for straws, but this might be the straw that broke the camel's back. That team comp can win. Only issue is that champions like Guma Yushi and Zeus are in quite a good spot. And this, by the way, is the durability upgrade. BDD took so much damage there. Like, I think he took, what is that, two barrels? And he still lived so long. Like... He built HP, sure. He built some armor, sure. But this is also a three and a half item level 17 gank plank. Normally he should just die like this. So um, sure it's not crit gank plank, but this is the durability update. And then we have Faker with flat pen and no damage Zonia's build. So uh, this uh, this Akali is just uh, yeah she's just dancing around. Anyway, Baron time and. T1 Baron and well yeah, I I, I said it, T1 Baron. Dread is going to get punished for it, but I say it. It's now T1 Baron. Throwing a Baron T1 and this buys Nongshim more time. I said it. And this is going to be sole point. It's going to be very interesting. T1, for them the objective is very cool. But more important for them is Let's kill Nongshim 
and then just win the game. Owner, oh ha! Ghost should uh, die here immediately. He has ult and flash, but yeah. Ooh, he doesn't die immediately, but without Ghost there, like the rest of the team doesn't stand a chance. And sure, Dread, you're looking cool, but that's not it. They're running away. And yeah. That's the. Uh, that should be about it. Anyway, uh, T1 here now, finally, with 16,000 gold, should be able to end this game. By the way, Sejuani, obviously, we see it absolutely tanky. Will we see champions that can deal with her? Probably not. We're going to see more bruisers. So far, if you have seen other LCK games, the drafts have been uh, equally terrible. It seems like they haven't noticed that MSI meta has changed. Um. But yeah, Zeus obviously should be the MVP of this game. Played absolutely phenomenal. Owner also with many great engages that sadly didn't matter too much. Faco with a bunch of kills, but to be honest, he probably just KS'd. Yeah, if we look at the damage, Faker didn't do that much damage. It was all Zeus, it was all Gumayushi. That's what we expect. Uh, great game from T1. Um, draft is the most important thing, I think. We should expect them to beat Nongshim on a regular basis, especially with what we have seen from these teams. And uh, so far, so good. Let's go into the game number two. Hopefully, we can get a clean 2-0 for a great start into the summer. So good so far. Faker here, Bink chilling in mid lane. Yeah, so good, so good. We like, we like. And uh, yeah, talking about like, hopefully you like the new camera quality. I uh, yeah paid the big bucks for this and I, <laughs> I hope it's paying off. Hope the quality is nice and sharp. And uh, also sharp are these ganks by Zeus. This was a nice combination though. And... <sighs> Zeus, like he's literally a god. Like he's the god of thunder. But looking at these fucking moves, like he might be... Oh, 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 oh. They have to call it. That, that can't work. Well, that was closer. But... Yo, the god of thunder, like he's the god of, I don't know, of movement speed, of death maybe, because he's evading it so good. Yo, why are people still ganking Zeus? Like, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, guys. So we see here, 10 minutes now, 10 minutes, and we're like 1.3k ahead. Who carry it? Ah, he forced to flash there. Obviously, it didn't look too uh, threatening, but remember, BDD here has the package, so he could collapse immediately. Owner here. Okay, that was weird. Uh, I don't think that's a play we can go for, Carrier. You need to be a bit more respectful. Guys, guys, no, that's not the play. I mean, like, we don't have cooldowns for this. Why are we forcing plays, man? I, uh... Oh, uh, come on. That was so stupid. We already disengaged the play. We already disengaged and got more cooldowns out of it. And then we stay, we overaggress. <sighs> Look at our champions, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. The base effectiveness of... Ooh, that killed. That was a lot of damage. Then Gangplank ult is committed, then Faker's forcing a play. Here we're looking for a play on Takana, but... Uh, the... That flash was just not it. Ooh, Carrier, Car that's the wrong direction, mate. It will be a race now for first blood turret. We are going to get it. But Gumayushi is in a bit of a tight spot here. Ah, nice try with uh, Zeus ult, but with Senna healing and shielding, that's just not it. Ah, but uh, yeah, T1. I guess that's just the uh, disadvantage of red side, right? You can't win from a red side. Uh, it's going to be an interesting tool here, how T1 can make some plays with uh, these big circle AoE tools. Gumayushi here... Uh, yeah, not really getting over the wall with the arcane shift. Sadly, has to flash here and yeah, positional advantage over this is just stupid. What are you doing? Why are you? What? Why would you walk there? There's no nothing to be gained. I uh. Okay. Interesting. We obviously like need to get rid of this mega now, but. Owner, he needs to flash into this. Ooh, Faker with the three-man knockup. No, s someone used Zonias, but uh, yeah, this fight is quite messy. Kana on the side just takes care of Owner, and yeah, Zeus finds the pick, but uh, we 
don't get the Drake. We invest so much. Like, look, two flashes, all the ultimates. Like, there is nothing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. nice snipe. Maybe that will result in the turret as well. Nah, minion wave is too small, but. Wait, we, we, we give up Inferno Storm? Uh, uh, okay, we give up Inferno Soul to Talia Senna Corky. Um, how are we going to ever live on the same screen as them? T1 is going to figure that one out. They're big brain. Or, well, we just argue. Um, red side can't win, and uh, that's it. T1, too big brain. If you lose the game, just don't lose the game. Just do the objective in front of them. They walk past you. Owner? Oh my god, man. Hungered thieves, who are you? We are the thieves. We 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 do the heists here. Yeah. Oh god. But look in my face. This is bad. We are forced to make these plates. It's not good. It's not good. It's not a good spot if you have to make these plays. Like, a Baron sneak is always a sign of weakness. <gasps> Yo, he wasn't he 60%? He even had heal. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, not great. Uh, 16 seconds, 15 seconds, and he's dead for 45. Um, Obviously, you don't really expect four people, uh, three people to randomly walk down bot lane. But, well, now this is a bit of an issue. Um, so, uh, now, Gumayushi and Faker have to do all the poke, but Faker is not really in a great position. Now, Dread uses the wall to split it off. Carrier answers with the Tempered Fate. Owner is in position to steal. Uh, resets now for a while. Effort HP low. Faker still has not done anything and is not positioned to do much of anything either. Gumayushi's poke has been great, but not too much. And yeah, that's just BDD outplaying him. Zeus shoots him in the face, and that's a one for one for now. But it's Elder Drake. T1, no. No. T1, no. No. It's Elder Drake. Oh, no, you. Ona doesn't die to burn. Ooh, Faker just scooped the, uh, 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 scoops them back. This is against Elder Drake, man. Against Elder. But Kana is now huge. He still has Elder. He's about to turn Mega, but... Oh no, his stones. Oh my god, he's just threw Nibiru onto Faker. Oh no. <laughs> it's a disaster. No. No. But uh, I guess we get control back of Baron. We're going for a Baron burst here at 33 minutes. But Nongshim, they are fast and they are furious. They are running in. We secure the objective and everyone moves out through the bot portal. And uh, well, that again was a good heist. But we are in need to do these plays. That's not the way. That's not great. Nongshim here trying to enter the river through the bot side. And uh, they are going to be surprised with some uh, nice gangplank barrels here over the wall by Zeus. Any minute now, there is a ward. But uh, yeah, Kana here also looking for a flank. So let's let's see. Like, I think like the team that starts the objective is going to be in a quite dicey position here. Carrier just throws out tempered fate, uh, but doesn't really do anything. Gumayushi's ultimates are nice, but there's so much sustain on the other side. Ghost getting chunked, but again, remember everyone has a tank now, and there are heals everywhere. It's just, it's just not it. Wall comes down, and Nongshim, they're rushing it. Have we? But they're also being scattered. Everyone is so low. Elder, what is going to happen? No, Elder doesn't die for us. But Gumayushi, ho ho ho! Oh my god, can Kana end the game? I think he can. Ah, maybe not. Owner response. No, no, no. Owner response. Oof, they're still in a bit of a situation. Obviously, here with the red side uh, terrain, they have a good avenue to defend this Baron. Um, 
but they still don't have that much vision. Owner goes over, and even though he is rooted, he just takes it down. Kana here looking for a flank, he sees Zeus and... Ooh, he just gets flashed upon... No. But yeah, he's okay. That's the old gone though, and Mega now also forced out. Also, he's like 50% HP. Maybe this is the Elder Team 1 can get, but... No, Nar just recalls and TPs in. Now he's in backline access. He gets attacked, but look how tanky he is! Look how tanky he is! And on the other side, like Zeus, he is just being attacked. He is about to die and Gumayushi, he is fighting so hard, but is Longchamp actually doing it? Oh god, oh god, owner running away, but where can he run to? Gumayushi is still alive, but what about the Elder Drake? What about the game? Are they looking to finish the game? Like, Faker is about to respawn. I think, I think that's just it. <sighs> 10 seconds for Carrier. Carrier has ult. He can ult the last remaining Nexus turret. And they don't have the wave. And they're too dead. Owner still alive, by the way. Somehow, some way. Kana? Oh my god. TP in. And that's BDD dead! Kana also bound to fall here any second now. And T1! That's an, that's an ace out of nowhere! Oh my god, Nongshim! Oh, how could this have happened to you? Oh my god, T1 bamboozles a fight where they have an advantage position in the fight, not in the game state, remember. And then they all, oh, they get bamboozled, man. Oh my god, this, this is painful, this is painful. Uh, effort here falls one last time, Faker takes down the Nexus. And that is one of the saddest two zeros I have seen in a long ass time. Uh, were we the better team today? I think yes, I think that is like easy to be seen. But this was very depressing, uh, this is just really fucking sad like nongshim they fought really hard they had a good draft they had good early rotations t1 again like you could question uh, giving over talia senna and tom kench at the same time or picking champions like they did but regardless nongshim they fought tooth and nail t1 as well um sure some of these baron elders were flips and as such it could have gone either way but this is this uh, this is a bit of a head scratcher. Let's hope both teams can learn from this and improve on crucial steps in this game. This was a long one. Hope you liked it. We're going to see each other in the near future with more T1 games. Hope you're enjoying it. See you around.